Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Super Boy here again with another video for you based on our favourite superhero series and today's video is going to be all about explaining what the heck is going on with DC fandom and how that's going to affect our Young Justice panels. Let's begin. Don't panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! Okay, first things first, um, I really would like to make a never request for everyone who wants to donate to a worthy cause of brain tumour research to please support my uh, fun run and half marathon to raise money for brain tumour research and if I get above £2,000 I will run it as Wonder Woman. There have been major uh, problems on my side of things uh, regarding collecting physically Mainly the fact the first charity box I got or ordered got stolen. The second one got broken in delivery. And the third one I have only just got, but I need to uh, put up the advertisement. So that's probably going to happen tomorrow. So unfortunately, I will miss like a week and a half of uh, collecting. So please, please, please. Uh, donate in the link description below and share the link of at GoFundMe Wonder Runner. And again, if I get £2,000, I will run half a marathon dressed as Wonder Woman. But on to the main video, and that is what is going on with DC Fandom and um, how it's going to affect the Young Justice panel. Well, what's happened is it's been split into two days. Uh, one is going to be this Saturday and the next is going to be on the September the 12th. For those who are wondering why, it's simply a victim of its own success. So many people are getting in and they're wanting to watch the Hall of Heroes stuff that all the other panels, uh, the Watchverse and the DC Funverse and all that stuff, is getting kind of sidetracked and it's all fit into one day. So what they've decided to do, I think in a rather good mood, is split it in two. So Saturday's going to be just the Hall H, Hall of Heroes stuff and then the... Uh, all the other panels, including Injustice, is going to be put into Saturday the 12th. Fortunately, I've booked off it this Saturday as um, off to go and see all of them, and I'll be doing live reactions to all of them, including the Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, whatever the surprise panel is going to be, the Snyder Cut, uh, Black Adam, Aquaman, and Ask Carly, and the Batman. All of those I'm going to react to live. So uh, log in to my channel on Saturday if you want to watch as well. And the second panels are just going to be set for September 12th, which I also have off, fortunately, because September 11th is the time I'm doing my run. So September 12th is the day I will try and recover from my run. So I'll be sitting up with my feet up, legs aching, and just watching some good Young Justice panels. And another good point is that I had to wait until 2 o'clock in the morning if it was going to be on the Saturday Young Justice panel. Now it's a moderate 6 o'clock for me, so no complaints from us over on the UK side of things in Europe. Good move on you. And that's it. Basically, they're just splitting it up so everyone can see everything they want to. Um, but it doesn't mean anything bad is happening to Young Justice. It's Young Justice. We're used to delays. It kind of seems fitting that they've had one. But... Yeah, that's it. Don't panic. It's still coming, just a bit later. And that's it. That's the video uh, on Young Justice. I've been Dark Sid Boy. This has been a video on Young Justice and its panels. Please like, comment and subscribe and donate below. Your support is everything. Thank you very much. Uh, let hope burn bright and goodbye.